we got another day. We got another day of disc golf. I already got my bag on. If you didn't see yesterday, we, uh, well, maybe two days ago now. I don't know. Uh, we got our cloud breakers in. I did a cloud breaker only video. I got one of these blue ones in the bag for today. And I'm going to go out to Eagle Island. It'll be in some of the shots. Um, should be fun. I don't know. Okay. New day, new energy drink. Let's see what we got. Uh, so for those that don't live in the Pacific Northwest, there's a place out here called Grocery Outlet. 50 cents a can. Let's go. I drink a lot of energy drinks, but they're all super cheap. I drive past the Dutch Bros almost every day, and it's like really hard not to get a Dutch Bros. When you have a 50 cent energy drink, and it's a V8, so it's supposed to give you your vitamins, makes it a little easier. All right, 20 minute drive, should be playing Ann Morrison, hopefully better than we played Oh no, Eagle Island. Hopefully better than we played Dan Morrison yesterday. It started snowing on us at the end of the round. It does not look like that's gonna happen today. So, yeah. We're here. Good, yeah, take your time, whatever. We'll go, uh, we're not in a hurry. <laughs> I have to that's my excuse. That was a cloud breaker on hole one. Now it's all dirty. Good way to start. Uh, hole two is just straight out there. There's kind of a couple of people, so I tried to make it quick. Just a forehand smash out there. Okay, that's an okay layup spot. I scoured myself out a little bit more than I wanted to. Okay, the plan wasn't to throw just Cloudbreaker today. That was the point of the other round that we did at Ann Morrison. Um, but through two, I threw him the Cloud Breaker twice. <laughs> so let's mix it up. All right, hole three is kind of this big backhand right hyzer. It goes down. First backhand of the day. I didn't even get my two up one. Okay, that's a putt. Alright. Full floor, just up yonder. Um, for AMs, I think they call this a par four, but just trying to get something on the top of the hill. Go on cloud breaker because if I get it really good, I can get it around a putt. But hopefully you can see me. No. That was unfortunate. Uh, we're on a hole five here. I like to go on a flex forehand with like a Captain's Raptor that's pretty beat, so like a Firebird.
Okay, I actually don't see where we're supposed to go. So I'm just gonna come blast it out there. Flippy cloud breaker. Not that flippy. That'd be okay. Okay, it's kind of tricky. I think it's a big forehand. The backhand's there too. Let's go backhand. We're going to go splice. I want something with more stability on the right. Oh, too much. Can you make that putt though? Can you make that putt? Hole seven, Eagle Island, has taken more of my discs than any other hole out in the world. To about 300 feet, we're gonna go forehand, swing it around that left side, crashing at the basket between the trees. Oh, I munched over on that. It's just a classic case. Uh, I was thinking in my backswing, like keep it high in the air, make sure you get enough distance. So then I rolled my wrist and threw it left. Oh dang! Make that putt. Hole eight has taken a lot of my discs too. Let's see if I lined you up right. Yeah, I'll do. In my mind, I want to go the new Cloudbreaker. But logically, I have 80 discs out in that water over there. So we're going to go Old Destroyer. That's great. That's the hard part about throwing plastic that hasn't come out yet is you can't lose it. You can't lose it at all or else you get in trouble. <laughs> so I'm trying to make content for Dismania, also for my site. So people want to buy the new Cloudbreaker, but also can't get too crazy with it. <laughs> That's a really good throw right here. Right here, this is awesome. Short it. All right, hold 10, 300 feet, big swinging right to left backhand hyzer. Uh, no real chance to lose the disc, so clap right there. There's no way I can get you to see the basket. I'm just I think that was my first real errant shot of the round. Um, really just <sighs> stuck to my hand. But uh, yeah, it doesn't feel good. I'm glad I got to a hole nine. <laughs> Normally it's hole two. And in a tournament, that's hole one. So sick. Remember like two seconds ago when I was like, it'd be really hard to lose a disc? I felt like 10 minutes looking for it in this grass. So I'm an idiot. That was terrible. One bad shot after another.
you gotta be. All right, that felt bad. That felt really bad. Um, 485 feet, par four, straight, and then left to those trees in that gap. So I'm trying to bust something up there. Not there. Dang it. That's an amazing kick. Uh, basket's just around the corner there, so I'm gonna go something stable. Either high or low, I can't decide. Where do you go high? Or just wide and medium. How bad? How bad can we? How bad can we play? Okay, I got it framed up, but I'm gonna move up. Pull 11, 352 feet. Just trying to throw something straight. Fades to the right. Stables out left. It's like that. Let's go. Hold that. Get lucky. All right, I, I hit some earlier trees than I thought. Um, and it's elevated, I didn't know that. So we're just gonna go try a jumpy hyzer. Maybe, maybe no hyzer actually. Maybe just one hyzer. Well, that's worst case. Par four, hole 12, 480 feet, something straight, over that stuff. That's a stable. To anyone wondering, I was trying to go across the bridge. You can see a rare thing for me. Oh, grenades hurt. <laughs> All right, just a little backhand mind bender. This is your reminder. MD1's dropped. The 5th of April, so if you haven't bought some, they're much cheaper. Mind bender. The white and the orange feel like this, the other ones feel like regular sea line. Off the tree? Look at that. I do flip. Another car save, man. This is rough. All right. When my wheels fall off, they just it, all four explode out the side, <laughs> like a Michael Bay movie. Um, hole 13, 247 feet. It's like the main reason I keep this place in my bag. Throw it out there. Get an early skip to the right. You really need a lot of left to right movement on this on this hole in particular. Just 
just like that. Second birdie. Actually, do I feel like it's been since hole one? All right, hole 14, 435 feet, par four. There's also a par three that's like probably 260. Uh, so I'm gonna play the short one first, and I'll play the long one second. The old two for one. That's great. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. I got all like framed up clean. That's all I need to miss. <laughs> oh no. Getting perfect. Totally perfect. Knew I was doing that. <laughs> Hole 15, 290 feet. It's like this middle flex forehand. That's like impossible. Some people even go backhand layup, chip over, just submit for the par. <sighs> but I ain't about that life. Too low. I maybe should have been about that layup life. Now I have to throw this twice and get a skip. What's that? All right, hole 17, 270 feet. Um, I was passing somebody, so I didn't really want to talk to the camera. Uh, they're essentially the same shot though. Backhand, kind of hyzers out at the end. 250 feet, go left. Um, yeah. Oh no, Sean. They don't do that. I'm getting a couple of lucky ones today. Went a little deep. All right, hole 18, 250 feet. If you've seen me play this before, you know what I'm gonna say. Ch -ch 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 code. Forehand roller. All right, that went to the next county. All right, final hole. We got like Simpsons sky today. Like this looks like it's out of the Simpsons. Um, we're gonna start it like we finished it, or end it like we finished it, started it. There we go. Uh, Verizon Cloudbreaker.
it's safe over there. Now carry back into the fairway. Thanks for coming along. I gotta make this for a birdie. It's been a rough round, but it's been awesome out. Very, very beautiful. Oh, no, okay. Thanks for coming along. Another vlog day at Eagle Island. One of my favorite places to play. Um, yeah, today was a rough one. My mind is elsewhere, honestly. More, more going on in Boise disc golf than just disc golf. Right now, it's especially when you play by yourself. It's easy to get in your own head. Um, anyway, let's move on. <sighs> Thanks for taking the time. Like, subscribe, uh, share this around. If you didn't like it, keep this to yourself. Positive vibes only.